Welcome to CSC Guru. In the previous sessions, we have discussed introduction to AVL tree and single rotation. Under that single rotation, we have discussed single right rotation and single left rotation with example. Now, in this session, we are going to discuss double rotation. That is double left right rotation. In short, we will call it as LR rotation and a double right left rotation or RL rotation. Both we will discuss with example in detail. AVL tree is nothing but it is a balanced binary search tree or otherwise called height balanced binary search tree. It comes under the category self balancing binary search trees. Okay. So here whenever you are inserting a new node into the AVL tree, that time the tree may be unbalanced. But always here we need to maintain AVL tree should be balanced. How it is balanced? We have to check for the AVL tree. The balance factor should be either 0 plus 1 or minus 1. If this is the case in the sense, if the balance factor is 0 plus 1 or minus 1 in the sense, the tree is balanced. Suppose if it is plus 2 or minus 2 in the sense, in that case, AVL tree is unbalanced. So when this unbalancing factor happens in the sense, whenever you are inserting a new node into the AVL tree, that time it may be unbalanced. So to convert the unbalanced AVL tree into a balanced one, we have to perform rotation. There are four types of rotations in AVL tree that already we know. Under single rotation, there are two types. One is single right rotation and single left rotation. Under double rotation, there are two types. One is double left right rotation and double right left rotation. These two single rotations already we have discussed with example. Now we are going to discuss this double rotation. When you want to convert the unbalanced AVL tree into a balanced one, either a single rotation or a double rotation depends upon the position of the insertion. Sometimes with the single rotation itself, we can able to convert it into a balanced one. And sometimes double rotation is required. So the first type of double rotation is double left right rotation or in short we will call it as ELR rotation. So it is a combination of two rotations. That is first we have to perform left rotation of the left subtree and then followed by right rotation of the new tree rooted at R. So when this type of rotation is required in the sense if you are inserting a new key into the left subtree of the right child of a tree whose root has balance factor plus 1 before insertion. Okay. So when you are inserting a new node as a left subtree of the right child if you are performing insertion in the sense that time it is required to implement ELR rotation. For example here if you are considering in the sense node 3 is the root and left subtree node is 1. Okay. So now if you are checking the balance factor in the sense for 1 the balance factor is 0 there is no left and right subtree and for root node 3 left subtree is 1 that is one child is there right subtree no child so plus 1. So now it is balanced only okay 0 plus 1 it is balanced only. When you are performing a new insertion into the left subtree this is a left subtree and I am performing a new insertion as a right child here I am inserting node value 2. So after insertion we will check the balance factor now. See here for this node it is 0, for this node there is no left subtree, only right. So 0 minus 1 in the sense the balance factor now it is minus 1. And for this node, root node if you are checking, number of left child if you are considering that is 1, 2, right child it is 0. So now it is plus 2, right? Now it is plus 2, 2 minus 0 it is plus 2. So after inserting a node 2, into the left subtree of the right child here the root node is unbalanced now so we need to convert this binary search tree into a balanced one then only it will be called as avl tree so here how we will perform in the sense first we have to perform a left rotation see here after inserting this node only the tree is unbalanced so here we need to perform a left rotation so how we will perform in the sense if you are rotating in the sense the tree will be, see here, I will make it here. So, if you are performing a left rotation here in the sense, now the tree will become 2 and 1, okay. And this will be 3 now. So, after performing a single left rotation, the first type of rotation, that is left rotation if you are implementing in the sense, 
here if you are implementing in the sense 2 will come here and 1 will be the left subtree of this 2. Now after performing the left rotation here the root is only unbalanced right. So now we have to perform a right rotation. Left rotation followed by right rotation ok. So if you are performing right rotation 2 will become the root, 3 will become the right child of 2 and 1 will become the left child of 2. This is the new tree we will get it and if you are checking the balance factor for this new tree in the sense all the nodes are balanced only. Now this will become a AVL tree. This is a balanced binary search tree ok. So here first we have to perform a left rotation for these two nodes where actually you are inserting and then you have to perform a right rotation. So left rotation followed by right rotation. This is called double left right rotation. See here if you are considering this tree in the sense here root node and this is the child node and this is the grandchild node ok. So R, C and G ok. A child node left child is T1, uh, grandchild node left child is T2, right child is T3 and root node right child is T4. This is a left subtree. So here when you are inserting a new node into the left subtree of the right child here if you are performing any insertion in the sense that time we have to implement LR rotation ok. When you are inserting a new node into the left subtree this is the left subtree complete left subtree of the right child here only you are going to perform insertion ok. If I am inserting a new node into the left subtree of the right child in the sense here I am doing insertion or here if I am doing insertion in the sense that time if the tree is unbalanced in the sense you have to perform double left right rotation ok. So how we will perform in the sense first we have to perform L rotation for this one. So here you have to perform a L rotation. So here I am performing L rotation in the sense here G will become this subtree root node and C will be the child of G. We are performing a left rotation here in the sense G will become root here, C will be the child of root and T1 will be its left child and the left child of G now it becomes the right child of C ok. What is the left child of G when you are performing this left rotation now this will becomes the right child of G and the right child of G as it is that is T3 will be there and a new node if you are inserting in the sense that will be there ok. So if you are performing a single left rotation in the sense pointing to C and G in the sense here G will become the root C is the child of root T1 is the left subtree of this C what is the left subtree of G now this will becomes the right subtree of C ok and the right subtree of G as it is this is T3 ok. So now we have performed left rotation. So after performing left rotation the root node and its right child will be as it is. This is the new tree you will get it after performing left rotation. Now again we have to perform a right rotation. If you are checking here if you are checking the balance factor again it will be unbalanced only. See here left side 1, 2, 3, 4 node will be there 4 minus 1 in the sense you will get it as plus 3 right. So here also unbalanced only balance factor will affect. Now here you have to perform a right rotation, left rotation followed by right rotation ok. So here I am performing the right rotation pointing to G and R in the sense. Now G will become the root node and R will become the right child of G and T4 will become the right child of R ok and after performing this one so now G is a root node what is its left subtree left subtree will be as it is that is C will be the left child and T1 will be its left child left child of C and T2 will be the right child of C ok this is as it is and what is the right child of G now this will become the left child of R while performing this rotation what is the right child of G or right subtree of G that will be attached as a left subtree of R. So now left subtree of R will be this T3 and here if you are inserting new node in the sense that will occupy here 
can you able to find the difference when you are performing the left rotation point into c and g g will be the root node c will be the left child and its left child as it is and is g right child or right subtree as it is what will happen to the left child or left subtree of g in the sense that will be attached as a right child of c while performing left rotation and right rotation if you are considering point into g and r while performing this right rotation g will becomes the root node and the left subtree of g will be as it is see here left subtree of g will be as it is and the right subtree of r will be as it is okay and only here what is the right subtree of g that will be attached as a left subtree of r after performing this right rotation and now if you are checking the balance factor everything will be balanced here also two child node left child and here also two child nodes here right side also here two child nodes left side also the height is 3 and right side also height is 3 it is balanced only so this is nothing but double left right rotation so this is an unbalanced tree and we have converted into a balanced one after performing double left right rotation that is lr rotation so here we have to perform l rotation and after that here we have to perform r rotation L rotation followed by R rotation. If you are implementing in the sense, we will get a balance of the tree and this is a AVL tree. So, this is all about double left right rotation. Thank you for watching this video.